Now, if you heard the lyrics, she's saying that she was looking for a real good man. Now, most of us sisters are, to be honest. And I just wanted to share some viewpoints on this very thing in looking for a man. The starting place, really, is to focus on the most high God, who is the first man who we started a relationship with, for he fashioned us in the wombs of our mother. He was there with us and he made sure that we made the arduous journey through the vaginal passage out into this world. We have to continue on the journey with God so we may be closer to him and grow. As women, we want to and the time dictates that we have to be strong. You know, strong spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And when we draw nearer to God, we can become so much stronger and conquer everything that comes in our environment. A lot of the time, we have this idea of what we want in a man, and we have a list, he has to have money, good looks, and all the rest of it. But it's really to just work on ourselves first and foremost because the type of man that you might think is for you today may not be the one that is for you once you have developed yourself more and know yourself more and know God more. I wouldn't suggest going out there purposely looking for a man because sometimes we don't actually know what it is we're looking for because we're still learning a lot about ourselves. Today, we really need to stay prayed up because there's so much happening in the world. You hear things on the television, in the news about, you know, atrocities happening to families, to children, you know, children killing their parents, parents killing their children and such like. So, you know, and people's, um, you know, mates, killing, molesting their children. Like as women, we really have to be very careful about the men that we allow to come into our lives. Now, life. you might be thinking, um, how do you find out whether or not, um, you know, to get involved with, with a mate? Well, the mate should come looking for you. Well, we shouldn't be floating ourselves out there looking for uh, a man. You know, if he's interested, he's gonna let you know, speak to your father or your older brother to be able to gain access to you for the purposes of courting, not dating, because dating in this society is something where people just try out the goods before they buy it. That, but courting is where you would sit and you would speak, you know, with the brother who's interested, you would question his children, if he has plans, what's his future plans for himself, um, you know, speak to his mom to find out more about his character, talk to, you know, his siblings, speak to his ex-wife or his ex-partner, you know, just to really see if this is somebody who you would want to make the commitment to marry. When two people come together, it really is to have a worthy goal to work around, to build a legacy, to build a life with, to build an empire with. And that's why it's so important that as women, we develop ourselves and busy ourselves. We have to have something to bring to the table as well. We have to know in ourselves that we can make things happen, we can make things work, and then be a good help meet for, you know, our husband. It's more than just going to work your nine to five job and saving some money and going on a few holidays, having a nice car to drive. 
courtship is where you would question a brother, a brother questions, a sister. And the important point is that there's no um, physical involvement, there's no kissing, there's no touching, and you would court. And once you are satisfied that this person is right for you, then you would go ahead and get engaged and go ahead now, and get married. Now, when courting, it can be a good thing to have a chaperone. you go out just go out and have another couple there that can just be making sure that everything you know is going the way that it should new ideas new actions new outcomes and that's what we need today um, as women so you know try it so if you like this video please like it subscribe comment and share thank you so much for watching stay connected to the roots